Okay. Happy New Year, what's up? Today, we're gonna do skin routine. I never do anything like crazy to my skin or anything like that. God bless the parents that make their own. Really, shout out to my parents because the skin that I have is solely up to them and they still got better skin than I do. They literally never have breakouts or anything. They got like perfect skin and very good looking. If you don't follow my cousin, she can style yo-yo. Put it up there for you. Me, my sister, all my cousins, we watch her videos or whatever. Like, she like YouTube guru. So if you haven't seen any of her videos, click on her page. I'm putting it on there so you can see it. So I figured I would do a skin routine video and my sister saw my cousin's video. My sister bought me some Fenty skin. Shout out to my sister. We call her Sissy. Sissy got me some Fenty skin. I'm sure you could probably buy it off of her website, but I will look that up and post it so that you can see it. That is it. It's just a little kit, super cute. I already used this, which is by my client. It is a skin scrub. Super great, ladies. You can also use that for like after waxing, like private areas under your arms, stuff like that. Um, it's all natural ingredients. I use that on my face and my wax areas, if you can see that. It's like extremely granulated. It's super soft, it works really good. I love that on my face. My hands, I use that on my face. It's called Lady K, Lady K Scrubs. I will also tag her. I also have this that I normally use. It's called Glow Effect. This is like a night cream. You cannot use it in the sun because when you put like vitamin E on your skin and go out into the sun, I feel like it kind of burns your skin or it makes your dark marks darker. So I use it to remove dark mark and also i don't want you to think i'm perfect you probably can't see you can see this a little bit better but i have like these breakouts that are normally like in my cheeky areas and stuff like that i'll probably just throw my hair back in a ponytail while i do this but over here like these areas and things like that my skin is like super sensitive so like anything breaks me out I'm gonna pull my hair back. I was gonna put it in a scarf, but I just can't make myself do it. My grandma will be totally mortified. We do not do like pajamas outside the house. Scarves, sorry. If you ain't in the house with me, you ain't gonna see me on no scarf. I meant none of that stuff. Even though it might be in here, I'll show you my shop sister. Her name is Bree Shop. She makes bonnets. Okay, so. The Lavish Hair Collection. She also sells hair like I do. But I sleep in it at night. That makes it easier for like, because I like to wear wild curls now. So I like to sleep in that. Her bonnet is lined. And a lot of bonnets are not, which cause like rubbing of the edges and stuff like that. And to me, that might not be big to y'all. But to me, I like my edges. So I would like to keep them. Shout out to Breesh. I do sleep with the satin scarf as well, just when I wrap my hair. But when I have that weave in, the lavish collection. Okay, so my face kind of dry. Like I said, I just got out of the shower. It has stuff on the back, so I guess I'll just read through that. Also, I'm not going to be going over my brows because I just had them microbladed by the best in the whole entire world. Her name is Shay. Um, I will also tag her. Wow, I cannot get this out. Freaking. This side is dark like that. This side was even worse. You probably just see a little bit right there. Not that one, but there was a huge dark mark. It was clearing up like within two weeks. I used this on my dark marks. So I guess we will start with the cleanser. I never use the skin regimen. I hope this stuff does not break me out. Warning. For external use only, do not use on damaged or broken skin, so I'm assuming sore. Stop using as a doctor. Rash occurs. When using this product, keep out of eyes, to rinse with water, to remove, keep out of reach of children. Apply, apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. 
Use a water resistant sunscreen if you go swimming or sweating, reapply at least every two hours. I won't be doing that part. Oh, so I thought it was a screw up top. It has like a little, it opens up. Can you see that? And it opens and closes. I thought that the top screwed off, but you just open it. Can you see? Also, my cousin did my lashes. She always does my lashes. Me glad. I just got a whole team of people, you know what I mean? Like, we just do this. I just don't start posting that. Okay, so that is kind of like a cream. As you can see that, coming out very slowly. Okay, kind of like a body wash, I feel like. I don't like this top only because I hate when stuff gets messy and you gotta wipe it off. I hate like residue and stuff like that. That drives me crazy. But it's just like, kind of like a body wash. So, I'm just... Rub that in like that. I won't be putting it on my eyebrows because like I said, I just got them microbladed. I will be using Gossip Trace and on those, which is pretty much just like A and B ointment or like Neospore. Um, this is extremely smooth. I like the way it feels. It kind of reminds me if you have ever used a Vino. They have a body wash and it feels like that. These hairs, you know they be on my ass. I used to get extremely oily like in my T-zone, that's what they call it. And then here on the sides of my nose. But I also have an oil from Lady K Scrubs, like I said, which is one of my clients. And I'm not like endorsing her because she's my client. I truly used her stuff and I honestly, I didn't even tell her like if I loved it or not. I just been using it. I've been using it for about a month. Um, she has a body oil and she has, um, the first time I used it, I put it in a tub, but it made my tub like super slippery and I slipped and fell <laughs> trying to get out of the tub. Like, I was so close. Um, so I was like, let me not do that again. Um, yeah, and I love that. I love that. I'll just turn that on a little bit. But I loved it, so when I get out of the tub, I put it on my skin instead of lotion. And so it feels so much better. I think um, it kind of seals my pores, like, because I'll talk to my clients sometimes and be like, oh yeah, like, you put oil on your hair, not on your scalp, because you are, clogging your scalp up and even though it may seem like the same difference you might be like okay well aren't you clogging your pores on your face but you wash your face more often than you wash your hair so it's like it gotta come out um i'll just like wipe that off it's so funny because when i was in hair school they tell you like oh only use you know wipe in a certain direction I tell you wipe in a certain direction when you do like facials and stuff like that. I think it's up, but I don't do facials. So that feels good. It was super soft on my face. It wasn't like super harsh. It didn't feel irritating or anything like that. So that's good. That total cleanser. It said hyper clean, soft skin without stripping or drying. That's true because I could feel that already. Daily cleanser, makeup remover, all in one use day and night to remove makeup dirt impurities wet skin work into a lather rinse pat dry um follow with fat water for external use only uses directly so let's go into the fat water since my face is still wet and my pores are open instantly refines the look of pores reduces the look of dark spots even skin and ugh, even skin tone and fights shine without stripping skin so yeah, it says the same thing, use day and night on clean and dry skin, apply over face with fingers, follow with Hydrovisor, which is the next one, which is a moisturizer. I'm not sure. Like I said, I think this might be, you know, my face feels like tight, like clean tight, not like dry tight. It's like 
squeaky clean if you can see my nonstick shiny. <laughs> uh, so this is the fat water. It says pour refining. This one does have a screw off top and it kind of looks like to me, um, if you have ever used Elf, they have a, um, Also not thick either. I'm like squeezing, it's not coming out, so I'm not sure if it's like a jelly. Oh yeah, it kind of feels like it. Okay. So I'm not gonna use a lot to start with because I don't wanna like go crazy. It's like heavy. You see my hand is diagonal, but it's not like really running. It feels a lot looser than what it is. I don't know if I still have some soap on my face or if it's supposed to be like that. Let me wipe it a dry again. Maybe my hands need to be dry. Number two is, um, I forgot number two. <laughs> so again, like I said, this is going to drive me insane. I cannot get it out. You see it? It keeps going back in. It's not coming out. supposed to do that and I guess I'm supposed to wait for it to dry yeah it doesn't say to take it off let me make sure I get it all over feels really good on this hand you know what you was doing Ray Ray it says that it's supposed to help with like hyperpigmentation which is what that means like when they say like helps reduce dark marks and even skin tone hyperpigment hyper hyperpigmentation 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 <laughs> Why can't I talk? It's like when you have, um, you know, your skin is multiple shades. Mine is not so much anymore. Also, you could tell a little better for me in the winter time, only because I get lighter. If you see a picture of me, or if you see me in the summertime, my skin is a lot darker and a lot more red. Um, but right now, I am my dad's complexion which is a lot lighter obviously um my mom is a lot more brown skin and i normally look like that in like spring in the summertime so i don't know what's up with me right now i'm a totally different person get you a black girl it's like dating six girls the last one is the hydrovisor which is it says invisible moisturizer and it has spf in it which is good um, a lot of black people do not believe that they are supposed to wear sunscreen because we have more melanin in our skin. But it's not true because when you have things like dark marks from acne or like if you just have a scar on your face or something like that or anywhere on your body, once you go out into the sun, the sun makes those marks darker. So if you do not use sunscreen or SPF or you know, a coating, pretty much, to keep you from burning in the sun. It just has a little pump, like a lotion. So, I don't think I need a lot. I normally don't put a lot of lotion. I normally don't put lotion on my face um, anymore. Like I said, I use oil. It reminds me of Mary Kay. The Mary Kay lady used to come to my grandma's house with her bag. It used to be my aunt's friend. And my aunt used to sell it, my grandma used to sell it. And they would come over and have like Mary J parties at my grandma's house. And they would be in the living room and they would like give me free stuff because I was there. But this smells like that to me. The nostalgia of Mary Kay. So this feels really good. It's extremely soft on my skin. And I do not like a lot of products because if I don't like the way it feels, it is not good, but I feel like the combination of the three of these is like super bomb. I like the way it's like making my skin glow. I feel like 
if I was like my little bronze self right now, I'd be extremely happy because I'd be like glowing I'm like a little chocolate bar. I'm still a little brownie. I'm still a little brownie, but this feels good. I like it. I love the way it's making my skin feel. And I guess maybe if you can see up close, I'm turning red, but I told you I have super sensitive skin. So anything I do, it'll go away shortly. So if you could see my skin up close, pores are pretty closed. Skin is extremely clear. I ain't scared to get up in the camera. You know, I want you to see it just like me. Like I said, I am not perfect. My brows are starting to peel a little bit. I'm gonna put, like I said, vasitration on those. Um, she used Aqua 40, I think it's called, but you know, same difference. So I'll just use a little bit under my eye because a lot of people don't put um, lotion or oil or anything on the eyelids because I guess they feel like that's my eye but um, I only I guess I think too because I wear makeup and um, your eyelid is still skin so you still have to moisturize it you still have to do things to it um, yeah and I want to make sure that that is clean as well just, but before I did all of this, I didn't do anything extra. Like I said, I used my scrub by Lady K. Um, and I washed with... Is that Dove or Dive? I, I can never remember. It's Dove. So yeah, I used that and... That is it. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Bye.